live deep in the heart of West Texas. It's the James Hendricks Show, the Suburban Broadcasting Network, SIB. Okay. How many of you have seen on YouTube the comments of the speech of Congressman Chip Roy uh, from Austin, San Antonio area on the House floor? I gotta say, I love how he makes the statement defending the Constitution. (laughs) And to be honest with you, I think he had a little bit more... uh, (laughs) <laughs> guts that I would have had. <laughs> That's why I figure there's another way for me to shape in matters of public affairs. And I can't think of a better place. Well, I'm going to be covering a few story threads because, well, quite frankly, I think we could use a break from reactive analysis of the news. So, what we're going to do is, uh, the Bongino Report, some news stories there. Kremlin says, no breakthroughs expected at Biden-Putin talk. <laughs> Anybody could be expecting that. Anybody could be expecting that. I mean, let's face it. Biden's the one that has some more of the Kremlin-style politics. Uh, and now, um, here's one. Mark Meadows signals Trump 24, 24 run in new book. I think that's a good thing. I think I think that can be a good thing. Now, do I do I approve of everything that Trump does? No, his policies make sense. But the reactiveness that he has on social media is 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 his downfall. If he wasn't so one I one of my things I would consult him to do is to not be so reactive. I love his policies. I just don't necessarily approve. Of his approach towards his uh, political enemies. And, you know, once again, this is not a show where I endorse or go against any particular political campaign. And, of course, now, I will say this it, next year is an election year, no doubt. And so, to that end, my job is to cover this as objectively as a conservative federalist. And the reason why I call myself a conservative federalist is I think both parties in some ways have given us this this, uh, nightmare. I think some of the ones that have been in power for a long time up in the halls of Congress have been co-opted by um, special interest. And being someone that's involved in public affairs, I wish to say that we need to return God back to his central role in government. And go back to principle-centered government. You know, there was a 
a black reverend back in the mid 1990s, and he was calling for this, and I, I couldn't understand why back then, but I do now. He called for a citizen legislature to return back in in in, in Congress, and of course. After the <laughs> blistering defeat of Clinton in the congressional elections of 1994, he called for Clinton to resign. <sighs> now, the reason why I don't want to cover so many news stories today is because I think people get enough of that as, 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 as it is. And I think it's time for me to use a little bit more uh, general persuasion and theorizing. We need to return God back to our government. Governments are ordained of God. And, you know... Now, I'm, I'm not saying that God is the author of any um, political system of government on earth or, or endorser of any political system of government on earth. I know he's favored the U.S. Constitution as long as we go by the founding principles. Upon which the Constitution was laid, which I feel that both parties, Republican and Democrat, in some ways have abandoned those principles. <laughs> I wasn't even around, I think, when both parties could actually really work and coexist together. And have this cohesion together of, uh, towards uh, federalism. Ever since I was 20, I noticed that our society has become more reactive. You think of all those smash and grabs that are going on in, 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 in uh, California and in some of the other major cities. Guys, we need to return back to God. What's important for God. What he wants us and calls us to do, be, and have. I listen to Chip Roy. And most of what he says makes sense. This Omicron variant. Bar I mean, come on, guys. Seriously. You don't think I don't know what woke corporate media, reactive corporate media is up to. Race panic. Race panic can scare people. The fact of the matter is, I think the American people have heard enough. And so that's why we're returning God to government. Now, I hope you've enjoyed listening to the James Hendricks Show. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the uh, receiving most daily updates. This is Jimmy Hendricks saying until next time, take care, and God bless, and please, pray to put God back in this country again. Pray to put God back in this country again. God bless you.